Tervehdys and salutations, people. I'm your friendly neighborhood Let's Player Spano. I welcome you back to Modlarks. Last we left off, we found some uh, documents in the uh, trash that told us about the uh, priest living here. So uh, it's the note I found in the priest's trash from Maurice. It's a crumpled bank statement I found in the priest's trash. So we need to find about this Maurice Pembleton person. Ask for Kevin. Uh, we don't need to get another joint. Which is really interesting that we needed to get a joint in order to get to the trash cans. But it worked. Eh, can't blame it. I mean, it's a, it's a legal drug in many places nowadays, so... You can't really go around and just say, eh, I'm getting this for medicinal herb, these medicinal herbs. Because um, it is a medicinal herb these days, at least. Now, where could we go to find out about people? Library? Library isn't usually a built place where you go to look for info about people. What was the place that we went to? Not the park. Not the Purchase Hotel. I guess that place doesn't exist anymore where I went to last time to find about... ...the Gavis themselves. So maybe library is the answer. To find about this uh, Pimpleton person. Maybe. Any day now, Winston. Winston. Anybody get that reference? Hope so. All these colorful children's book books. So where could I? Well, maybe I can talk to her and ask her about that. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Local history, but I don't think there's anything we can find here anymore. At least I don't see any more shaking books. Books, 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 books. Where could we go to find ourselves information about a certain person? I'm sure that the pub is not the place to go, because uh, there are no old geezers in there. That was, I was hoping actually to find some old geezers in there. Because usually the local old people have uh, info about everything. Hey, yeah. Uh. Hi, Helen. <coughs> See you later. See you soon, Winston. That's not the voice for her. Hey. Hey, look at this then. Bye for now. Cheerio. And I know there's nobody in the back rooms. <sighs> nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. I mean, I could still try. Talking to these uh, two. Nothing. How about you? See you later again. Ugh. Your guess is as good as mine on what to do here. Nobody's talking to me. Now that I think about it, maybe the gardener can actually help me. Maybe he know this Pimpleton person. I mean, if it's a if it is a person who has been here any times, you never know. So the only way to find out is just to talk. Hey, Daddy. Ah, yep. How was your little break, Daddy? Thank you so much for that wacky backy. It takes the edge off me aching knees. No problem. The good father didn't notice my absence, did he? Uh, no, you should be fine. Hurrah! Do you think Father Rochester is hiding something? Whatever you do, mate, lad. 
I've seen him be very nice one second, then he switches to rage, just like that. And he seemed to bite my head off every time I got near his bins. I don't know, he has always been nice to me. Although I will say, he does have a temper at times. But who doesn't? Hmm. Well, not that kind of a temper that he has. I mean, instant rage in a... In a... In a whim. That's not a good thing, that means that he has some kind of mental problems. Is Father Rochester involved in any local funding, say, building, or even helping parishioners? I? I don't think so. He has a bit of money, but he doesn't splash it around that much. I mean, he did give me a Rolex, but I assume it was from the church coffers. I see. Does the Gover... name Gover mean anything to you? Never heard of it. Okay. Do the names Maurice or M. Pemberton mean anything to you? Hmm. Maurice Pemberton? Aye, oh, he's the landlord of the local pub, the Lord of Lawn. It's just around the corner. Really? Aye. Oh. This explains the letter. It's from Maurice Pemberton. Why is Rochester giving regular payments to the landlord of the pub? What can you tell me about Maurice Pemberton? He used to be over here quite often. Most weeks, I would see him popping in to see Father Rochester. What's their connection? I believe Pepper there used to be, do a bit of work around the church many years ago. That's what he told me one day anyway. What else did he tell you? Nothing more. He keeps to himself this dos Pepperton. I haven't seen him for a very long time. He's an old man now, you see. Intriguing. How old is Pemberton? Oh, fair ancient. He would be in his 90s, I would say. He's a real bugger. I think he has been ill lately. Just as it says in the letter. Do you know when he worked in the church? Was he around during the war years? I'd say so. He is of that vintage. Come to think of it. I did overhear him mentioning to the Bar Father something about the World War II more than once. Thanks for the info. No problem, Eddie. So Maurice Pemberton is the landlord of the Lord of Lorne pub. He's an old man that was very possibly working at the church around the time of the Govis. Perhaps he knows something about them? He must know Father Roger, Rogers, at least. The fishy and secretive, uh, secretive, incredibly wealthy current priest of St. Michael's is giving him mysterious regular payments. Do you know the Govis' final resting place? Again, it's a long shot, but most of my, hunts, most of my hunches seem to be valid so far. See you later. See ya. Oh, how I would have loved to see you just slide away once more time. That was so funny last time when it just <laughs> animation greatness. I mean, don't make it. Don't make the character move. Just let him slide in. Maybe he was doing a power slide, looking for the ultimate pick of destiny. So let's go back to the pub. Maybe he knows? Possibly? Hi there. Is Father Rochester from St. Michael's Church funding this renovation? This is a very confidential information and none of your business. But mind your business, boy. Do you know the landlord Maurice Pemberton? Yes, he's the landlord here. But I have never met him. All the related affairs are conducted through his business manager. I see, who is that? That's confidential. Really? Yes. See you later. Yeah, whatever. And there's a pigeon up there. One of London's famous flying rats. Yep. Talking to pigeons should be left to the crack addicts and wandering drunks. Or the pigeon lady. Or the pigeon man. Who feed the pigeons at the park. There's a lot of... They usually do that. There's a lot of people who do that. Uh, so, let's see. Hi there. Hello, what can I get you? The landlord is Maurice Pemberton, correct? Yes. Do you know him? He's not taking visitors at the moment. I thought you said he was on holiday. Um, yes, he is on holiday. But you just said he wasn't taking visitors at the moment. Does that mean he's here? Um, no, yes, uh, no. He's on holiday. I'm not convinced she's clearly lying. If he is ill, then perhaps it is far fair enough that he doesn't want visitors, but I need to get him get to him somehow. Am I correct in saying that Maurice Pepperton is a very old man? 
What's with these questions? Mr. Pepper is a very private man. He wouldn't appreciate this. Can you please help me? It's important. Okay. If it is such an issue for you, yes, he is as old as the heels. Thanks. Did you know Maurice was connected with St. Michael's Church? No. I think he used to go there quite often. I think he's a very religious man. I see. Why can't I speak to the landlord? Mr. Pimpin is very ill. He's not taking visitors. Even staff doesn't, don't see him these days, even though he lives just above us here. Is he dying? This is all very personal information, mister. Sorry. So there's no way I can talk to him. I'm afraid not. It's out of the question. Hmm. How long has he been the owner of this pub? Mr. Pepper has owned this pub for a very long time. Do you know when exactly he purchased it? I think it was sometime shortly after the war. Really? Yeah. Getting payments from Father Rochester, probably was involved with Father Rogers. And now the revelation that he has owned this church since the 1940s, don't you mean the pub? What is the connection here? He simply must know about the Govas. At least he seems the uh, proper destination to get to to find out more about the Govas. Who is funding the renovation? What a strange question. Our landlord, I presume? Hmm. Is Father Rochester from St. Michael's funding the renovation of the pub? That is news to me. Why would he be? Never mind. Why is Father Rochester sending large and regular payments to the landlord? Pardon? I have no idea why that would be happening. Are you sure? Yes. Her confusion seems genuine. There's no way I can speak to the landlord? I told you, sir, strictly off bounds. Really? Really? The only person he allows is in is his doctor. Okay. Who is Pemberton's doctor? That's private. His doctor comes quite regularly, I say. As I say, Mr. Pemberton is not a well man. Okay. Goodbye. Have a nice day. So it seems I need to talk to the landlord. He may very well recall what happened in the case of the Gavis, and he has some explaining to do as to why the church is throwing money at him in his pub. How am I going to get to Pemberton? I hope Vincent is okay. And back to thinking of your friend Vincent. I think, uh, huh. Apparently, uh, the builders came back. Looks like the building team has arrived. I can hear more of them banging away around the corner. Yeah, I can hear them too. The builders have bought, the, bought with them a large coil of wire. Brought with them. Must be a very... Well, must be for reinforcing something. I am not a big DIY man. Can we take the wire? The wire is too thick and strong to break off with my bare hands. And I certainly don't need a whole coil. At least we got a tool for that then. And Splatam. Hey, if it's there, you can take it. You will take it because it's an adventure game. It takes a bit of effort, but the old rusty cutters managed to snip off a piece of wire. Yep. Now we have some wire for some reason that we'll find out in the future. A fair piece of industrial wire. Now that's some strong stuff. Hi there. Good day, mate. How's work going? Can't complain, mate. Can't complain. She's old Jakob, but the cool bird has to earn his living, right? Right. Have you met Murray's Pemberton, the pop landlord? I've been better, but he heard him snoring. As loud as a bloody cow, squawking at full volume. What do you mean? I'm standing right outside the window. Do you know anything about this area? London? Ah, mate. I only moved here a couple of weeks ago from New Zealand. I see. Bloody love the place. Both Ben, the London Eye, four out, it's a bloody postcard everywhere you look. I don't much mistake in cheese pies to them, though, bro. I do like a pie. I felt he could go on all day. I'd better move on. Do you believe in ghosts? What? <laughs> what are ya? That crap is a load of nonsense. Do you know who's funding this renovation? I don't give a Floyd Roth's ass to who is funding it as long as I get some pounds in my pocket. I'm saving up for a contiguito. Sigh. Pepperton lives in that room right there. Yeah, mate. Why are you so interested? You got some pay for the old bugger? I just have my reasons. 
I need to pick his brains for some information, let's say. Oh, this is like one of those London gangster films. Are you going to show me now? <laughs> Choice, brah. Can you help me get to him? Mind if we are so okay to get this Joker? I'm sure we can work something out. Really? Bloody oath, mate. What would I have to do? You know that a whole she line that works behind the bar? Yeah, I love her. Since she pulled me the first damn pint of world beer for me, it was love. Does she feel the same way? That's what I need to know, need to find out. Take this letter for her to her for me. I do it myself, but the foreman has barred me from entering the pub after a couple of incidents. So I just have to hand it over to her? Yeah, man. And how are you going to help me get to Pemberton? Mate, do I have a spell it out? Get her the letter and let you scamper up this cafe thing and talk to the old fella. You can shout out and shout at him through the window or something. I don't exactly have any other options right now. Okay, I'll do it. Sweet shot, brah. Here's the letter. Nice throw. I'll get on to it. Cheers, cuz. See you later. Later, Mike. It's kind of funny that I started to give him an Australian type of ac accent right away and he's from New Zealand. I'm not usually the best at Australian or New Zealand or Kiwi accents. But, eh, I did well enough. Hi there. Hey there, what can I get you? The builder outside wants you to have this letter. Does he now? That bloke has been after me since the moment I, he clamped eyes on me. Is it a mutual attraction? Let me read the letter. Now she's in an Australian accent. So this stuff is by the foreman. He doesn't waste any time. He's addressed it, Dear Hot Sheila. Does she even know my name? Does he even know my name? Uh... If he doesn't know my name, he can stuff himself. I certainly won't be doing what he asked me to in this letter, that's for sure. Oh dear. Take the letter back and tell him to stick it. Will do. Hi. Have a nice day. I got a feeling that this guy doesn't know how to handle women. Some of what is written here is so sexually charged I can't even begin to repeat it. Like I said, one of those persons who doesn't know how to talk to women. Properly. <laughs> Hi there. Get out, Mike. She said to ask you if you even know what her name is. Bugger. I don't have any clue. Just call, I just call her whole Sheila Bomb. It's not a good look if you don't even know her name, especially given some of the stuff you wrote in that letter. Oi. I didn't tell you you could read it. Sorry. Shit. Well. Would you able to ask around or something? I'll try. Sigh. Later, mate. Later, mate. Later, 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 later. So let's talk to Cammy. Hi there. Hey. Do you know the landlord Maurice Pemberton? No, sugar. No, I do not. Do you know the name of the barmaid over there? That pretty little thing. Not a clue, my dear. Oh. Hi there. Hello. What can I get you? Goodbye. Have a nice day. Is there any way of us finding out right here what could be her name? Doesn't have a name tag. Pilot magazines, building supplies. Maybe an employing of the month uh, in the back somewhere. Sign promises upstairs seating, but the second floor is closed for renovation. It's an England rugby jersey. I'm not a fan of English rugby. Rather dull. I'm not a fan of rugby. Or any sport. I mean, I don't watch them. Where can we find out what her name could be? Or maybe that was it, that we don't know it? Nope. We really need to find out her name, huh? Well, maybe the gardener can help us again? I don't know. It's a shot. In the dark. You know. 
instead of a shot through the heart, and you're to blame. You give love a bad name. Hey, Daddy. See you later. See ya. I know I'm giving everybody in Australia the accent they feel. That animation. He's not coming to the door. I wonder why. We did kind of anger him. Seriously, where are we gonna find out what her name is? She's not gonna tell us. Cammy doesn't know. Maybe our friend in here knows who she is? I don't know, maybe, maybe barmaids uh, hang out together. Never know. Nope. Not a clue. These people are useless to me. Hello, Mr. Samuels over the here. Seriously, how are you supposed to find out of a person's name? It's not easy, that's for sure. Well, let's try out next time to find out what her name is. Well, thank you everybody for watching, hopefully you enjoyed, and I hope you all have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning, and I will see you all next time. Take care, people. Bye.